Ah, das Mike's Daily Podcast. FF Episode 1190. 1990 was an interesting year. I bring up only 1990 because of the 90, of course, but that's that's the year I graduated from college and I realized that oh my gosh, I gotta make money like now, like quick. Oh, I'll try radio. <laughs> Stupid. Hey, welcome to Mike's Daily Podcast. Podcasting, kind of like broadcasting from Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley Mont. Mike's Daily Podcast. Today, John Deere, the engineer, Floyd, the floor man, and Shelly Shoe Heart. I can't believe that the time apart from you has caused me to cry rivers of sadness. But now I'm happy because you're here and the gladness overwhelms me. But what am I doing? Mike's Daily Podcast. Podcasting, which is similar to broadcasting. And today we also bring you the wonderful segment. Mike's The Daily. Daily. Haley. Podcast. We haven't done that in a while. Yeah. Therefore, it's not really daily. It's almost daily. But whatever. What do you want for nothing? A rubber biscuit? I am very, very worried about my mom. I know this is sort of a fun, lighthearted sort of part of the show, but I just want to say any thoughts and prayers that you can provide for my mom would be greatly appreciated. She is in Florida. She's in Daytona Beach. She's right in the path of Matthew. The irony of that name was not lost on my mom and I. I go... I called her up yesterday or the day before yesterday and said, Mom, Hurricane Matthew, that's almost our last name. And she goes, I know. And and this is like the first big hurricane to threaten her in almost 10 years. So it sucks. And I hate the worry. And I hate watching the news because that's all the, the, the news blows it out of proportion. It's probably, I mean... News either underreports or overreports. I know that's a stupid st- statement, but look at it underreported around Katrina, and Katrina ended up being way bigger than it was than than the news was giving us. And now I think I'm hoping they're overreporting with Matthew. We'll see. The stir- the surge should be about six feet. My mom is sort of inland a little bit, so it shouldn't affect her. The last hurricane. Didn't it, it basically knocked down a bunch of tree branches. So keep your fingers crossed. Look, it just walked in. Hello, Mike Matthews. It's Jolly Stewart. Give Chef Supervisor. Oh my God, Halloween's almost here. Yes, Halloween is almost here. Everyone, though, I'm not seeing much in the way of Halloween decorations. You know, people put up skeletons and witches and stuff. I'm seeing a lot of lights. Halloween lights, the orange, the bright orange and purple lights, and 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 um, what do you call it, the black lights and all that kind of stuff. I'm seeing those a lot lately, but not the uh, typical. So I, that's what I, I have the skeletons and the bats and stuff, and the witches that I want to put out, and I'm afraid of putting it out right now because everybody else they've they've raised the game. To be lights And I don't want to put lights Anyway I think I'm just gonna Maybe put them out today The skeletons and stuff Look who else just walked in Oh Mike it's Floyd the floor man And this is John Deere the engineer Mike Are you full of fuego today Uh not so much The guy I work with at work He can't come in cause he's got a family emergency The second day in a row And I'm <sighs> Seems like Ah, you know, stress, a lot on my mind, all that kind of stuff. Mike, it's gonna be okay. Thank you, John Deere, the engineer. You have engineered my feelings yet again. Make me feel. I do speak horrible Spanish, though. So. Fuego. That's about the only good Spanish I can do, right there. Hey, on Tuesday, I woke up three times. Uh, that guy that was ringing my doorbell to promote that. San, uh, Ca- Ca- Castro Valley Wherever I live Pod Castro Valley uh, Those three politicians they wanted me to vote for And he rang my bell twice And woke me up out of a great nap It also I was woken up 
Oh, I was trying to take a nap at work in the parking lot, and some lady pulled up next to me and was blasting her audio tape. Just blasting it. Not hip hop. Yeah, typically you hear the hip hop being blasted, or Leonard Skinner. But Tuesday, it was all about the audio tape, or audio MP3, or whatever she was listening off of. And I hope you're enjoying today's MP3, full of detailed data inside this wave to make it sound super clear through the mp3 format i don't know why i went on that quick little side tangent but and then i was woken up finally by the text from the co-worker saying that he wasn't going to make it to work so i enjoyed being woken up several now last night i slept through the night he texted me yet again in what would have been the middle of my rem sleep but because I have discovered that little thing in my phone called the uh, um, slash through the speaker, the do not disturb. Well, I had do not disturb on before, but for some reason it wasn't working to its full potential. Or as this guy says, potential. Oh, that's the doors. So much for that. The guy that hosts that show, he says, potential. And I'm like, potential. Get it out of the way. Say the word quick. Just get it. Move on. Yeah. Um, oh, look. And here's today's podcast picture. Thank you, Ariel. The podcast picture today is a drawing with me and this lovely lady who just walked in. Hi, Mark. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. How are you? Benita, how are things going? There's sort of an argument between you and your husband at the Scrunnel Fiddle player yesterday. He was trying to show off his machismo ness. Or was that the day before? All these daily podcasts blend together. Mark, things are fine! Yeah? Yeah! Did you guys discuss the vice presidential race or any of that? Nah! So you didn't get into a fight about that? Nah! Okay, good. You know, Mike Pence... The, okay, so... Apparently, this debate... The vice presidential debate... It'll be the only debate... It's typical... The vice presidents only get together and debate once. It, it, it looks like nobody watched this thing. Everybody was like, Oh, two white guys bickering. That sounds like fun. I won't watch it. Tim Kaine interrupted Mike Pence a bunch, but that's really neither here nor there. Uh, conservatives whining about that are freaking hypocrites because Trump interrupted the crap out of Hillary and everyone else he's debated with. So shut up. Um, somebody. Oh, I heard a conservative yesterday complain that Lester Holt did not do a good job. Lester, as far as all the debate moderators go, he did as best a job as he could with these personalities. When you're dealing with over-the-top person, well, and over-the-top personality, come on. Trump is, is, takes personality to a whole other, it's not even personality anymore. It's at this other level. It's like hot uranium, radioactive, and will melt down anyone around it type personality. Which has caught fire with the public that loves him. My mom being one of them. Oh, all her Donald Trump signs are going to get blown over. Yes, I found some humor in a very tragic, scary thing that I'm very worried about. That's how humor works. You got to laugh at things. Whistle through the graveyard. Anyway, your thoughts and prayers for my mom would be great. Uh, Mike'sDailyPodcast.com too. Check that out. It's great. It's got all the past podcast pictures and interviews. And we got the segment now. Daily Haley. Almost daily, daily. Once again, we find ourselves in the midst of Mr. Haley. I am behind, like my week's all messed up. So this is probably going to plan a Thursday, but it's actually a Wednesday, and I think it's a Tuesday. Do you feel like it's a Tuesday today? Yes, I do. We heard today Rod Temperton died. He wrote a thriller for Michael Jackson. And he also wrote, Always and Forever. What two completely different type of songs? What was your thoughts on... Uh, no, What? You mean they're the same song? Is that what you're saying with that expression on your face? 
No, but they're not two completely different types of songs. They're both R and B. You just have a, a, a faster, poppier R and B. Thriller, thriller nights, and then always and forever. You have a beautiful baritone. Thank you. Wait, one song's about zombies. The other's about getting married. Isn't it the same? <laughs> oh, you're right. Thanks for correcting me. Hey. Uh, Haley, what was the name of the podcast you wanted to do? Something about digression? Yeah, I was thinking like digressions would be a good name for a podcast. Because, you know, we kind of digress. Yeah, you could have like a set topic for each podcast and then you could uh, vaguely stay on topic. We could call it Squirrel! Because you know how that gets distracted. Didn't we name a podcast Squirrel at one point? About a, well, yeah! About a year ago or more? That's right. Wow. You've been on this show for over a year. How does it feel? It feels great. I'm going to go to Disneyland. To be on your own with like a complete... Like a Rolling Stone! That was beautiful. Hey, so... T- Highway 61 revisited. What? Highway... Highway 61 Revisited. Is that the name of that album? Wow. Yeah. How does it feel? It might have been the name of the song, too. Look at this. No. <laughs> That's what it says. I'm not refusing to look at it. I'm looking at it right now. and it's. I wrote no with a big sharpie on what is it? No! Teacher support Lee, Thomas, and Whitaker for school board. Castavelli teachers are thrilled to endorse Monica Lee, Toho Thomas, and Lavender Whittaker, who supports the best interests for our students. Roger Kim, Castavelli Teachers Association President. Facebook.com slash Castavelli Teachers Association, paid for by Castavelli Teachers Association. So some guy came to my house, threw this flyer down on the ground in front of my house, and rang the doorbell. And because I refused to answer the doorbell, he walked away, but he came back later. He woke me up from a nap that I was taking. My dog was next to me. This person's name is Lavender. That's unbelievable. How can your last name be Lavender? No, no. Her last name is Whitaker. Her first name is Lavender. Her first name? Oh, well then Flower that- child, flower child. <laughs> root, root. Can I get you some camo meal? Camo meal. Camo pants? Camo meal, it's that one meal that you can't see. Ah! Everybody, Haley just did that. Clap in your car or wherever you are. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Da 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 Lavender Whitaker assisted her late husband Nick Whitaker as a CVHS leadership events and volunteered at school's dances during her five years in Castro Valley. Her daughter Kylie is a freshman at Kylie Whitaker. That's a more reasonable name. Is a freshman at CVHS. Lavender earned a bachelor's degree from UC Davis in environmental policy. She has worked for the utility and environmental sectors for 12 years. Currently, she is an environmental supervisor at PG&E. Lavender is also an MBA candidate at UC Davis focusing on organizational development well, if someone works for PG&E, I definitely don't want them in government. Yeah, exactly. I'm not voting for them. Hey, Haley, what's new with you? Tell us all about yourself. Uh, oh, here's a story that I didn't tell you previously because I kind of partially forgot and partially was going to save it for the podcast. But I was waiting for the bus on Monday. Uh, I was at the curb waiting. I was on my phone. And as someone drove by, they threw a bottle right near where I was standing. Oh, my God. And it shattered and the pieces hit my leg. Haley, holy crap. Oh, that is so... It, was that in Union City? Yes, it was in Union City. Damn you, Union City. Get your craft together. They were probably from Castro Valley, the guy that threw the bottle. No, they were probably from Union City. Like, they did, like I was even more upset because the bottle they threw was a glass uh, bottle of root beer. 
Oh. So it's like if you threw like a hard alcohol or a beer bottle at me, at least it would, there'd be a rational reason of wow, this guy's wasted throwing beer bottles everywhere. Yeah. But it's freaking root beer. And an insult to the brewmaster. So you're just being an asshole. Exactly. Throwing root beer. That's not even a real beer because it's made out of the sassafras root. Uh, I don't know if uh, Virgil's is made out of sassafras root. I'm sure it was at some time, but. Virgil? You know Virgil's root beer? Virgil Kane is my name. And the rest of that song goes, The night they drove old Dixie down. They were singing in the streets going, La, 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 la. No, keep that flyer because I need to remember who I need to not vote for. Not, not vote for those people. I'm Endorsed so, by teachers. I'm so sorry, Haley, you had that incident happen to you. That's so crappy. It was weird. Oh. So, uh, you know how we've discussed in the past a certain guy I work with at that other station who's sort of a, what did we call him? A jerk. And then uh, the there's this young guy that went to Ohlone like you did who t- now has totally drank the guy's le- lemonade and oh. defends him now. Oh, oh no. And this is what he said to me. He goes, Mike, you need to let go of this stuff. All right, I understand that may be true. I need to let go of certain things, but he goes, "We need to have the nice, happy, go lucky, lovable Mike, not this mad, angry Mike." Is what he said. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. And then we had some chamomile and sniffed some lavender. We have lavender growing outside of our house. Lucky. It must smell real nice. No, it doesn't unless you, like, get the oils and rub it and stuff. And your foot's okay? Yeah, my foot's good. Anything else you want to cover today? Um, so welcome to Mike's Daily Podcast. This is, this is how we do. It, this is how we do. Oh, and you're playing a new video game, or an old video game, with Becca. Say, oh, hey, Becca. Hey. What, uh, or what was the video game you're playing? Oh yeah, we're we're building worlds in Minecraft. That's is that that's not the same as World of Warcraft. No, it's not the same as World of Warcraft. Because they both have craft in their names. Because I like crafts. Yes, you can't really craft too much in Warcraft. You can do a lot of crafting in Minecraft. And what are you building? Anything we can think of. How fun. And then that, like, stays in the memory of the computer game, and you can go and visit it later? Yes, yes. We're building our own little world, in a way. That's fun. That's fun. I think we should all escape to our own little worlds. Create a place that's my own world. And I could be your favorite girl Together, perfectly, forever Now tell me, boy, now wouldn't that be sweet? Yes, I could be sweet. Sweet. I know I've been a real bad girl. Bad girl. I didn't mean for you to get hurt. Forever. Perfectly. Together. <laughs> tell me, boy, now Forever. wouldn't that be sweet? sweet. A sweet, sweet escape. escape. Sweet, sweet escape. escape. Woohoo! 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 What's your favorite song that goes woohoo? Um... That's uh, song number four, I believe. Yeah, Blur. Blur. Blur, song number four. With your favorite guy from Gorillaz. Damien. Damien Marley. Damon Albarn. <laughs> oh, I watched the James Corden with Chris Martin. Did you see that one yet of Coldplay? No, I haven't seen any for a while. Oh. It was actually an older one from when the, fo- the, the football Super Bowl thingy happened. And I was not that impressed with it. Chris Martin, they were talking about how to do a Mick Jagger impression, which oh, is, I guess you have to talk with your lips. Oh, God. You know how I hate Mick Jagger. I was not impressed. I love James Corden and Sia. That was good. Mm-hmm. You said the one with Elton John was pretty good. It was good. It was good. It was very good. He's a talented guy, James Corden. So, 
to be. He was, in, he was in Into the Woods. That's right. He sings pretty good in that, huh? Yes, he does. That was a good movie. Well, I was going to sing a song. Every time you say goodbye, I die a little. There's no love song finer, but how strange the change from major to minor. Every time you say goodbye, I die. <laughs> Always and forever. Well, we'll come to your wedding and sing soon. Anything else? Hey, lady, lady, lady. hey, lady, hey. That's a Bob Dylan song, too. Lay across my big bass bed. Or, uh... Doesn't, doesn't that one Bruce String sing the star like that? Hey, little lady, who does not Oh, yeah. I'm on fire. Gonna take you high. Whoa. Oh, I'm on fire. fire. I always thought it was walk on fire. Oh, walk on fire. I like that version better. Next time you hear that song, they do a total stereo split where, like, the the drums in one ear, they totally copied the Beatles, and they put the guitar in the other ear over here, at this ear, which we're not doing any stereo splitting on today's show in this part of the show. It's weird that you say that they copy the Beatles because all of the original Beatles was uh, was recorded in mono because they didn't necessarily have the t- stereo technology at that time. Oh. So George Martin was like, we got to do something to make it sound stereo, fake stereo-ish. So then they did this sort of separate track type thing. Oh. Uh, I've never liked it. I always thought it sounded horrible. N- and not even a paperback writer that doon 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 and the drum is in the other one? Yes. Paperback writer. Hey, I played on Rob Black's show. Got to get you into my life. That's a good song. And I made it. You, I did it because you taught me everything I ever knew. No, you taught me. You made me learn things. You taught me all the stuff I needed to know to do his show. And you taught me to make the hook. And right when we go to commercial, you have to back time, which I hate doing. But you showed me how to do it. So right when he said, got to get you into my life, the traffic report started. It sounded so cool. So radio. Good. I'm glad. That sounds very radio. And then the traffic guy said, 80s a mess, 680s a mess, 580s a mess, 80s a mess. My wife, my life's a mess. My wife left me. My dog died. I'm a country music artist. Brought to you by Nabisco. You'll find quality in our corner. No, I really like our traffic report sponsors because it's like, brought to you by Lead Safe America. We're an organization that says lead's everywhere. They're going to kill your children. Find out more at leadsafe.com. Lead is a situation that to completely get rid of all the lead is going to cost more money than has ever. That's more money than's ever been made. That is more money than anyone's ever had. It's going to be crazy. Haley, it was so much fun. Do, are you, do you feel good about this? Should we end it here? It feels pretty good. Uh, I'm fine with ending it here, or we could keep it going, and we could just kill this joke, which is our lives. Um, just just run it to the ground. Keep beating this unfortunate horse. <laughs> Shut up, horse. You're dead. All right. Well, but... Some other time, then. <laughs> All right. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley. Thank you so much, Haley. Well, I just want to tell you, Mike'sDailyPodcast.com, where you can listen to past podcasts and check out the podcast pictures. And you can also support the show through the Amazon link. Click on that and buy whatever it is you're going to buy. And that helps us out. Because uh, you're using Amazon through Mike'sDailyPodcast.com And Amazon likes that for some reason So they give us a little something Tiny, tiny bit There's also the PayPal If you'd like to donate You'll get a special greeting from all the Cafe Anyway characters And uh, uh, past interviews that I've done With interesting bands and musicians And back in the day when I was on country radio And I got to interview people Like Keith Urban And the Dixie Chicks and such You can hear those interviews at Mike'sDailyPodcast.com 
I want you to have a great day. Continue thinking good thoughts for the folks in Florida and South Carolina and wherever uh, uh, Hurricane Matthew continues to go. Um, hopefully Hurricane Matthew dissipates and we won't have to worry too much about it. But these type of things happen, unfortunately. And now I am going to end the show. Next show, it is going to be Benita. She'll be back. The disgruntled fiddle player and the brewmaster. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.